Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're back with small Gran Turismo Sport, this week's daily races. Uh, today we've got uh, Circuit de la Slav, no chicanes, Dragon's Trail Gardens 2 and uh, the Norschleifer. Uh, so this should be interesting. <laughs> so uh, let's crack on with the racing and see how we get on. Right, race number one, one lap dash round circuit de la Sarf. no chicanes in the GTO twin turbo and Mitsubishi. Not a terrible car, but not amazing either. Uh, not like it was in uh, Gran Turismo 1 where you could put loads of power in it and win anything in the whole game, pretty much. <laughs> And you can race and modify it as well, I think. Any, anyway, uh, so we're heading along. We're in fifth position, just following the guys in front. We're just looking for any sort of an opportunity here to overtake. Guy up ahead on a penalty there, so that's not going to be good for him. Uh, sort of get muscled out the way here. Uh, thought I was going to get a penalty, uh, but I didn't. He gets one for pushing past me, I think, unless he went off the circuit. But there's two guys here, both on penalties. Um, so I wasn't in a mad rush to overtake them because I knew I was going to get them as soon as they took their penalties because it's like, you get a penalty round here and have to take it on this straight, it's it's just hell. It really is. You lose so much time. So just sort of on the outside of him here. And he's still pushing me, which is quite laughable, really. Because I know I'm going to overtake them both. There we go. No problem. So we're still in sixth position. So we're up behind Dark Shark. And we're just... Well, we are. We're still in the slipstream. But I think he's getting a little bit of slipstream from the cars in front of him. So I'm not really gaining on him. So breaking into here, this is going to be interesting. There's a guy off to the left there. I get shoved again. <laughs> but I am going to have the momentum on Patrick here. So we should be able to get past him and back into fifth. And he's trying to defend from me. Trying to stop me from overtaking, which can't say I blame him. There's another guy here on the right as well. And I'm just trying to hold it here. And there's a lot of these breaking really late. And you watch these two, they just slide straight off. And, uh, and I've got a better line than them. So I managed to get into fifth place. There's a couple more guys off here. So then we end up in third. But unfortunately, we get a penalty as well. So, last couple of corners. We're in third position. We've took our penalty. But there's a twist. <laughs> we get another one. Just here, a one second. Bollocks. Right, race number two. We're in the uh, Toyota Supra Group 3. Oh, so, we're heading down to the start. 
We're just going to try and hook up in the slipstream here the best we can. This is not a track I'm very good at. Um, I just don't know it. I just don't know it. I don't race it enough. There's a guy spun there, so we're up into 14th, which isn't too bad. You know, if we can get anywhere near the top 10 in this race, I'll be happy with that. Uh, yellow flags appearing. Is there somebody off somewhere? Not that I can see. Another guy spears off into the wall. So that's up to 12. We're a little bit wide there, but there's uh, Nicky Larson gets past us, but there's another guy spinning off. So we're still in 12th position, which isn't too bad. Hooked right up in the slipstream of Nicky here in the uh, Volkswagen Beetle. As you can tell from on my bonnet, the game thought I was going to be second. I highly doubt it. <laughs> we skip ahead a little bit. We're still in 12th position. And these two guys are going at it. But I get overtaken by the McLaren. But I managed to clear those two. So I've gained a position out of that. So. We're just trying to follow the guy in the McLaren in front. Swig Swong. Is that? That's a bit of a mouthful if you've had a few beers, isn't it? <laughs> and we're just trying to follow him, really. But, I mean, I know, really, that I'm not going to be able to. Because uh, I'm, I'm just not confident enough around this circuit. We have another Supra tucked up behind us. He's probably going to go for the move into here. Is he? Yes, he is. He shoved me a little bit, but I managed to stay in front of him. Another yellow flag here. And it's another beetle. And he's slow around this last corner, and I'm like, come on. <laughs> you know. Like, get the job done. So I'm up the inside for 10, uh, 10 one, but I'm actually in the middle now. And I get shoved out of the way a little bit there. But I managed to stay in 11th somehow. I don't know how, but we're catching him and catching him. And he's struggling in that beetle a little bit, I think. But we're not doing too bad. 11th place, I'm pretty pleased with that, in all honesty. But we've got lots of cars catching us. I tried to defend there. And... And the French fella pushes me out a little bit wide, so I lose two positions. And then we've got Nicky coming on the outside, uh, inside of us for the next turn. Not outside, what am I on about? But I managed to hold on just about. So one more lap to go. And I'm just trying to stay with Nicky. I'll lose another position. I'm in 14th now, which is not where I want to be. I'm going to go for the inside here. Can we make it stick? Not really. So now what we're looking for is people going off the circuit. Uh, there was a couple that went off, so we managed to get back to 12th. 
So I suppose that's not too bad for a track I'm not very good at. Right, race number three. We're at the Norschleife in Germany. We're in the Toyota GT86. Or is it just the 86? Group 4 car. Uh, so away we go. Start of the first lap. It's only two laps round here. Which is still a fair, you know, a, a longish race. But no strategy, unfortunately. No pit stops required. So it's just... You know, do the best we can from where we start. We start in 14th. But the game thinks that I'm going to 19th is a good result for me, apparently. But I'm hoping to come a bit higher than that. And you get it all sorts of wrong coming out of there. Uh, totally sideways. So we're now in 13th place, and I lose it into the barrier and make a mistake, which is easy to do round here. I do like this track, but but there's a guy there who spun off, so we managed to get past him. 13th, not too bad. Right, so skipping ahead again. We're catching up to these two guys, and I I felt like that was my corner, really. He was going really slow, sliding all over already, so... But anyway, we're up to 12. Hopefully, we can improve a little bit more, and we get it wrong again. It spun all the way round. And that was... Uh, not good. Back down to 16th position. 17th position. But there is always plenty of time. I mean, the laps are so long here that there's definitely time for me to uh, catch back up. Well, I'm already straight behind this Subaru, but... If you know what I mean, to kind of get back to where I was before shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. There's always the chance that other people will spin off and all that sort of thing, so. Those two were fighting, so I managed to get past the Subaru. So that's up to 16th. I don't think this guy in front of his car would pass an inspection. It looks a bit rusty. <laughs> but we're just about in his slipstream still. But we've got the Subaru so close to us. And this car isn't the fastest in the straight line. But here we go, we're going to pull out, try and make the move. The Subaru's right behind us. He's following us through. But we managed to stay in front of him. So that's the end of lap one. We're in 15th position. So skip ahead a bit further. These guys all fighting with each other and there was nowhere for me to go there. I tried to go round the outside of him, but it just didn't work. So I'm on the inside of him here and he's just trying to push me and push me. And I, I'm trying my best to not make contact with him, but Lawford comes back on the circuit here.
But we're still in 14. Is it? And we're hooked up in this little three car battle. They're really fighting. So I'm just hoping they're going to make a mistake and I can uh, gain out of it, hopefully. And the Subaru's still quite close behind us, so... And Lawford's off the track, so I take my opportunity straight past. And we're up into 13th. So the Subaru's coming past and he's quite aggressive in doing so, but, um, you know, I'm still on the circuit. Uh, you can hear me complaining. <laughs> I didn't realise I'd left my microphone on when I was doing the races. But he got an half a second penalty for that. So my plan is if I can stay with him, then hopefully on the final straight, I'll I'll just be past him because uh, he'll have to take his penalty. I just need to not let him get away too much. So going right through the last few corners, still in 13th position. There's a guy off there. Luckily, he goes. Otherwise, he'd have took me out big time. And there's a yellow flag just round this corner. Are we going to get another position here? Yes, we are. So we're now in 11th and we can see 9th place. There's the Subaru taking his penalty. So we hook up behind uh, Juama, is it? Um, and see if we can get him in the run down to, uh, to the final few corners. It's going to be tight if I can get past him or not. But I think I'm just slipstreaming him at the right point. And we managed to get the move done. Now, can we hold on until the finish line? Right, so through the last few corners, no dramas, please. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, ninth position, then. Well, that didn't really go to plan, did it? Our DR has stayed almost exactly the same as when we started <clears throat> so we're still not back to a class unfortunately um hopefully next week we'll have three races that i actually are reasonable at the circuit because this is the problem that uh race b i'm not very good at dragon's trail gardens so ah well that's how it goes sometimes um Anyway, that concludes today's video. Many thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Click the little bell next to it to be notified next time I'm live streaming or when I upload new videos. If you like what I do, then please consider becoming a channel member. Outside the channel massively, you get some custom emotes while I'm live streaming, access to videos one day early, and uh, access to some members-only videos. So take it easy, stay safe, and I shall catch up with you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.